Hey guys, it's Miss Carlin. So we've been talking a lot about natural disasters that happen a lot in science. Um, so now today we're going to talk about somebody that studies um, the place where a lot of these things occur. So we're going to watch a video about an oceanographer. And then I'll have you guys answer a few questions about that video after you're finished. I hope you guys enjoy. Career Connections. Oceanography is the science of the ocean. We look at all aspects of the sea. We look at how salty it is. Temperature varies. It can be quite warm in places. Bottom of the ocean, it can be incredibly cold. We also look at how the ocean flows and moves around the world. We'll be looking at waves, wave heights, wave periods, wave directions. We'll be looking at water levels, tides, tidal changes in water levels. Tides are essentially the pull of the moon and the sun on the ocean surface. When they all pull in unison, it pulls the ocean up and you get a high tide. It's a wave that effectively propagates around the world. Tides are predictable because the passage of the sun and the moon is predictable. We can measure for about a month at a location and from that we can actually predict pretty much what the tides are going to do. A month is usually the minimum amount because it follows a full lunar cycle. The longer we take the measurements, the better the predictions. We're doing more and more these days using computer models to help us understand the processes, to forecast what's happening, and to sort of get a better idea of what happened in the past. If people know what kind of weather conditions, wind, waves to expect, how strong the currents are going to be, when they go out in a boat working out there, it's important that they know exactly what the conditions are then they know what to expect and they're not going to get into trouble. People also build things. A good example is a bridge. And you need to make sure that, that that bridge isn't going to fall into the water and fail. So everybody worked very hard to make sure that we understand exactly what forces are going to act on that structure so that it, it is safe for everybody. 